welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you guys along as I clean my laundry room and decorate it. So it was about a year ago and um, I had a video which I'll link in the description box below if you want to see it. It was about a year ago that I cleaned and organized this laundry room. When we had moved in about three years ago, I just kind of threw everything in here. It wasn't organized. And so I put, you know, I did some organization ultimately in here. Um, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. It wasn't my end goal for my laundry room. So that's what I did now. I decided that I wanted either cabinets or some shelves here this was all of it was just a big open area and I wanted more storage space and so we put some shelves here so I'm going to clean everything up um, give this room a good deep cleaning and then I'm gonna decorate I'm gonna show you guys what I did I got some baskets and I'm really excited to do this so the main thing is we had you know our detergent and all this stuff stuff that we use all the time sitting here I just didn't like it because it then when you're cleaning the lint trap, you know, you're gonna moving these and they just kind of all get jumbled. I didn't like them here and I wanted them up here. And also again, just more storage space. So um, Mike and I, my husband, we already went, we went to Home Depot, we bought these boards. I had to have him help me. We bought these boards, we put a stain on them and then he put them up for me. And I already went to Michael's and got a bunch of different baskets because I didn't know what would look good in here. So I'm gonna try that out after I'm done cleaning. And I just also wanna say that a lot of you guys has, have messaged me and they're like, man, I need to organize my house or I need to decorate it and it's overwhelming. And the thing is, my big piece of advice I would say is take your time. If you feel overwhelmed and you need to organize or decorating, like for me, organization is not overwhelming. Decorating is. So I don't rush to do it. I take my time. Again, we've been in our house for almost four years and I'm just getting around to doing this laundry room. And again, I could have done this a year ago, but I wasn't ready. It wasn't a good time for us. So I waited till I had a good opportunity and time to think it through and take my time. So just take your time with organization and decorating and uh, don't overwhelm yourself because that always works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give this room a good deep cleaning.
and I pulled everything out of the one cabinet under the sink and then behind the door. I like that organizer um, and I just kind of kept things that we very, very, very rarely use. So it's tucked away back there. Um, we are redoing my daughter's room here soon as well. So I may even take that shoe organizer and end up using it in her room. So it's kind of nice and I'm not really using that much anymore, but it definitely served its purpose for a while. So if you need like an organizer, you can tuck it away behind the door and that's why I liked it. But I have some things that we don't use very often back there. And then here's all the stuff that I want to try to organize that I use more on a regular basis. And here are the different bins I got. Well, first off, I got this little laundry sign from Hobby Lobby. And I got all of these organizational bins from Michaels. And so I got this and I just like how it's a little different. Um, and then again, I just picked a ton just because I knew I wanted to kind of see what would look good. So I have this basket. I have this one. This was like a little cheaper one. And then these I scored on a 70% off end of summer sale. So these are like some nice heavy duty baskets um, that I like. So I got two of these. I have a big one as well. And oh, let's go put that one up here. And then I also have this one. So this is what we're working with. So I'm going to play around with the different baskets, try to organize some things, and we'll see what works. So this is kind of the finished product. So I decided to go with two different types of baskets, which I didn't think I was going to do, but then I got those up there and I like both. So um, let me know if you guys like the different baskets. So I just kind of grouped it together. So we have our detergent. This would be things to help make my laundry smell good. That stain fighting laundry stuff. And then that's just some stuff that I don't use very often. And that's my Grove Collaborative natural product, extra product, cleaning products I put up there. And then this sign, I can't decide if I should keep the sign up there or if I should move it over here on the corner and then maybe get another of that basket and put it up there for more storage. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. That will not stay there. That is downstairs on my mantle. I just grabbed it to see what something with more color would 
look like. So I'm going to go and go shopping and get some flowers or something green or colorful to put in here. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Sign up there. I can move the sign there. Another basket. Do you think this looks good? So I just moved the sign down there. And I mean, obviously I wouldn't have to keep that there, but uh, what do you guys think? I think I'm gonna put it back up there at the top for right now. So there, what do you guys think? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it up there for right now and wait to see what you guys think. So I hope you guys had fun decorating with me and cleaning and organizing. Decorating is not exactly something I enjoy. It's kind of overwhelming for me. So I always feel good when I decorate something and I like it and we have more storage and organization, which is a great thing, right? <laughs> so give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.